All right, I grabbed an oil pan that was laying here, cleaned it out, was drying it off. <laughs> it cracked on me. So, went and grabbed one out of the old Mountaineer, sitting over there, from when I was doing the engine swap on it. Cleaned it out, cleaned up the catch in. Let's go drain that. Well, as you just saw, there's no filter there. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like in a minute when I pull the oil pan off my oil transmission. But this is DIY, guys. We're not an expert. This, this is driveway mechanics, and uh, sometimes you overlook things. Here's the hoping that uh, just swapping another filter in fixes the issues I got, and that uh, I don't run into any more. Here we go. That is the filter I'm looking for. That's what the other one's missing. So, we will pop this off from that pickup tube right there, flip it over, drain as much of that as we can back into this casing, and grab some towels and clean that off before putting in another one. I'm just going to wipe off the little bit of excess that's got on it and try and get as much of the dirty off as we can. Um, obviously, when I pull this trans again in the future and actually send it out and get it rebuilt, it will get a brand new filter then. Um, right at the moment, this filter should be just fine. I mean, either way, that transmission has 100 and, uh, 190,000 miles on that transmission. So it's not a new transmission. It's not, doesn't need to be babied. It's going to do what it's going to do. But if we get any of the excess off of this and just get it cleaned up a little bit, it won't hurt it. It'll help it a little bit. And um, just clean up the excess a little bit. I keep saying that. Uh, first giggles. Let's get down in there and touch that filter with my fingertip. See, that's actually pretty clean. So, it looks dirty. I think that's just the way the filter material looks. Let's go pop this one in under the truck and uh, get it buttoned up back up and put some fluid back in it. Let's see if it makes a difference for us. Let's see. Yeah, clean. Nice. All right, let's go. Oh, it's still spilling. <laughs> uh, you're falling off my head too. That doesn't help. All right, hold on. I'll fix y'all in a minute. Hold on.
All right, so the goal now, it's got all it's gonna hold for now until we get up to temp and the thermostat opens. So I've gotta let it get up to temp. I'm gonna sh keep shifting through the gears. And when it gets up to temp, it'll open that thermostat, send coolant, coolant, trans fluid through the cooling system. And that will take, I think it's another three quarts, whatever I says. So I should have just enough for that. Um, if not, it's gonna be really close. And uh, yeah, so we'll have to see what happens then. But I'm gonna sit here and run through the gears. I'll probably reattach the sway bar. There's one more trans uh, mission cross member bolt that's loose still. I'll go ahead and tighten that up that we didn't tighten last night and do all that while the truck's sitting here getting the transmission up the temp. It's at 113 degrees right now. I think thermostat opens at like 185, 195, something like that. So it's probably gonna be a few minutes, but uh, we'll pick back up then. Truck's at 150 right now. It's not taking any more fluid. It's showing over full. Obviously it's not, so the thermostat's not open yet. I'm gonna go back and forth in the driveway for a minute. Um, if everything seems to work good doing that, then I'm gonna go for an easy test drive down the road. That should help it get up the temp a little more quickly, as well as actually testing the transmission to make sure it's actually working. Um, I'm hoping I should have enough gas. The gas gauge is a little messed up. That's the next project. But uh, let's try this and see what happens. All right. <clears throat> well, either it has sucked the fluid through and it doesn't have enough in it again, or This transmission does need a rebuild. And it's not the torque converter and it's not the valve body. Because the chances of my torque converter going bad the same way his did when my transmission gave out. Yep. And uh sorry, brain fart. And um my torque converter going bad the same exact way his did, causing the same issue his transmission was having. The chances of that is very slim, obviously. And it would have had to do it the same time my transmission cracked in half, which would be a really, really weird coincidence. Because what my transmission is doing right now is the same thing it was doing when it was in his truck. Uh, when you get to cruising, it wants to jump gears. A lot of people say that that's the lead frame. He's going through, well, he had a couple issues with the lead frames he got, the valve body and lead frames he got. Um, this is supposed to be a brand new valve body lead frame from the distributor. It's not Ford OEM. Um, but it is supposed to be brand new, which means it should not be having lead frame issues, which is kind of what it's acting like. Um, these trucks, I'm accelerating, I'm giving maybe a quarter throttle. That hunting right there, and the random downshifting to first, sixth, third, fifth, it not able to pick a gear, is how everybody describes lead frame issues. And when you see my RPMs jump, I'm not giving it more throttle. Like right now, my foot has not changed. I'm holding maybe 15, 20% throttle, just enough to cruise down the road. And as you can see, it is not happy. Fifth, fourth, third. Okay, that was me. That was 
me try in second gear. Third. Second. And trans is at temp now. <coughs> so, first. We're gonna let it go up to 190, 195. So we're gonna drive for another minute here. And I'll pull back in the driveway and check fluid level. If it needs to, I'll top it off, but I really don't think that's gonna fix the issue. Third. I'm curious to see if it'll do it in manual mode. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Not like fourth gear right there. All right, 15, 20 percent, fifth. It's trying to shift into fifth. It, I don't think it's in fifth. Six. It shifted. That was just like a tiny little bit of extra throttle and it did that. Give that to auto. I'm so used to the Silverado I've been driving that has a click stalk on it that I forget this is a soft turn. This, the turn signal stalk doesn't click in place. It just depresses and bounces back. It doesn't hold down. bad part about this is that uh, it's not going to want to do highway speeds and to get pretty much anywhere around here aside from well even back roads most of the back roads are 55 miles an hour um, 74 is 55 the bypass is 65 if you get on 485 it's 70 So if, unless I were just to drive around the house, I'm gonna run into the shifting issue. Third, fourth. Oh my God, that was a hard shift. Yep, see it's already hunting at 40. Trans temp is 200. to manual mode because oh manual mode is disengaged i can't do manual mode okay oh now it will take it back down to a lower gear and it's warming up pretty quick so we're going to go home right now i'm going to check the fluid level go ahead and top it off like I said I don't think that's gonna fix it but I'm gonna top it off and try it might get lucky so I will see y'all in a minute after I check the fluid level all right <clears throat> so trans was down about a quart judging by the dipstick put about a quart in actually I guess it's closer to a quart and a half or two Put a cord in it, brought it up to the bottom of the hatch marks. Um, then my pump decided it didn't want to work again. So it's sitting there spinning over, but it's not sucking any fluid through. So we're at the bottom of the hatch marks. Should be well within range of what it needs to operate. Um, guys that have done valve body swaps on their trucks before been three quarts low when they go to the dealership to have them check the fluid level. And they drove to the dealership. So realistically, I shouldn't have been having shifting issues. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this thing needs a uh, rebuild, but needs a little bit of gas. So I'll run it to the gas station real quick and see if it behaves any differently. See y'all in a minute. 